in bed, just chilling out a bit. Been up since six. Did a two-hour time lapse again today for sunrise. To hopefully, get that sun going all the way across that little bit of sky that I can see from my room. But yeah, just chilling out. We have just got a new Hoover like dropped off by a landlord, so now we can actually Hoover the house. So hopefully, do a little bit of tidying today. As you know, I've got a lot of editing to catch up on. Which by the time this one goes out, all of that would have been done. Hopefully, I'll be caught up. James has gone to work and finished at four, so I think. Daisy and I, and possibly Jack as well, we're going to meet him after work and help him do some suit shopping because he needs a new suit for his graduation. So I think that is the plan. So in my mind, I've got this, this, and this to do before about four o'clock when we've got to meet James. Well, probably before that because that's when we've got to be there to meet him. Oh, as it's the last day of the month, I need to order some printed photos because you get on the Snapfish app, you get 50 free photos a month. And you just pay for delivery. So if I do it like today, means they'll reset tomorrow so I need to order some photos for like my mum and my nan and mostly it's like the wedding but a bit of a holiday basically choose 50 photos and obviously it can have duplicates for different people so I think I want like I've got 30 at the moment but there's duplicates in there so it's more like 35 36 possibly so I still need to choose a few more for like holiday and stuff and then get them ordered um, ASAP just so they that order goes through as August not September so that is the plan just yeah, get to choosing the photos, start a bit of editing, I'll get up and shower in a bit, um, probably should have something to eat. Yeah, we'll just see how today goes, I guess. It's a bit more chilled than the past two days, because they've been like full on filming, long day shoots. But now that's over, it's into post-production for that. I know Ash has already done like, he's done a rough cut of the first scene last night, so he's already well underway with editing. So it's, yeah, ball is truly rolling with that project. But no, yeah, really excited and just seeing where today goes and where the rest of the week goes. I haven't vlogged all day, we've just come meet James after work. He comes to Cafe Nero. I don't know what it is. Oh, I've lost them. We've gone suit shopping for James. I'm getting them upstairs here in Burton. I can't see them. Oh, wait. Hang on. I think I see them at the back. He looks really confused. <laughs> Doesn't the model look really confused? <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Oh my god, Jack, stop. <laughs> Why not? Helping James choose out his suit and try different ones on. We're trying to figure out his size at the moment. Because either the shoulders are too small, or the arms are too long, the chest is too big, or small, like they don't seem to have like a size that fits him all round everywhere. But size is more important than style. Well, like, well not style because obviously you've got tailored skinny and slim, but like the colour. So once you find his style, but once you find his size, then we can choose like the style and the colour. But he doesn't like grey. That was a, that was a 42s, 42 short. And he didn't like it. I'm too short for this. So we're just gonna have to see how it goes. Try a different store now. Oh, okay, moving on from Burton then. Then don't get your top. Oh, yeah, do I buy it though? Might as well. I don't know whether to buy this or not. That's not even on your head. I don't know whether to buy That's this fair. or not. It's eight pounds. It's quite a nice t shirt. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to buy it. Why not? Nothing good. At all? Did you try anything on? One thing, but it's way too dark. Oh. What size was it? 42 mm. Okay. So, Top Man and Rick Ryan are a no-go. 
Ask the first place. We've tried on so many blazers, and then <laughs> we get a little bit of help. And look at that. You can check yourself in the mirror, Doc. split off and I've lost everyone again now. I, mean, I was afraid, there's James. You are. I lost everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you where's and Jack and where's Daisy? He went to find briefcases. Daisy and Lois have gone to look at girl stuff and then you yeah. disappeared because you need a suit. You found anything? I'm just looking around still. Okay. I just quite like that. Sandra. Yeah, I thought I looked nice on you. <laughs> Found a suit. That's the nicest one you've tried on yet. Yeah. Fits James's awkward body. Awkward body. Everything we found was too long on the sleeves, too long on the body, too small on the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 235 for just a jacket, or 349 for the suit. 200. Huh? Did you say it was 200? Yeah, 235 for jacket, 349 for the suit. It's nice no. though. You could do with it a little bit. Yeah. No, I quite like this actually, like lower and lower. The thing was up there. You need your mum to come. That just sounds really wrong. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's on video. <laughs> Well now, I, if I was you, I'd wait until he comes in because he, he'll be all good at like making sure. He it's did. Good. He did. Oh. This is the one that he. Um, yeah. Then James wandered off. I lost him. He comes back and went straight to it like a hawk. I didn't see him going dry that light with his skin. Yeah. Say it again. No. I was the one that said to him, I was like, cut the bullshit. You're gonna buy the one from the house later. Let's just go back to the house and I'm going to get it. Although while I'm here, I want to look at money, um, shirts and tights. So. Back in House of Fraser, because James likes the really expensive suit that the guy showed him. £350. He's back here. Yeah, 
It's not it's not too bad on sleeves either. You could even wear black shoes. You reckon? I think brown would look nicer. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. Not that shirt though, because I don't like that little bit in the... The black bit? No, I'd wear the probably Rick Ryder one. It's complete white on the inside of the colour. Yeah, definitely. If not, I'll get a new shirt, but I don't know if I'll, I'll do that or not. It's kind of fun though. So I've been home for ages, um, but Jeff and I are heading back out now. Everyone else is staying here to go and see Corner at the cinema, which is a 1997 film. But yeah, they're playing at the cinema today, so we're gonna go watch that. And that's what we're heading off now. We're running a bit late, but I will. So yeah. <laughs> in the cinema, everyone else works here, sticking out, it's not off entrance, but I'm not allowed, so I don't really know what's happening, I'm just following Jack. I've already fed now, I'm so tired, I struggled to stay awake at the movie, but that was really good, I enjoy 90s movies, I feel like they're more original, they usually have like a, um, I don't know, like a fresh storyline, that kind of thing, um, yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it, I've never seen the movie before. Conair, Nicolas Cage, John Malkovich, amazing performance. Um, there's one thing with it, like, there's quite a few cheesy lines and you can't tell if they're meant to be com like, comedic or not. I'm serious. So. But no, it was definitely, I'm really glad I went to see it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. But now I'm absolutely knackered. And I'm going to get into bed and get some sleep. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.